how do you synchronize both hands? Seems like an impossible task to take something that precise uh, and ha having to do it at the same time with both hands, exactly the same time, right? But it's actually not that hard if we just follow a simple little method. And this is, of course, easier when it comes to chord because it's slower, right? And as speed increases when we do alternate picking and we want to do speed picking with alternate picking, then suddenly it becomes crucial that we're able to hit the note at just the right time when we, when we fret it. So what do you do? Well, there's a key to it. So please listen up now. I'm not going to show you an exercise because you can use any exercise. Maybe I'll just show you one. But the, the key is to understand what is actually going on. The body cannot play or process information faster than you can sing it. So if you start saying that's about that's about the speed level I can get to with my tongue and my mouth, right? And that is the speed level with which which the brain can process each note. So if you want to play faster than that, right? If you want to play faster than that and you start going there's no way that the brain can, can, can activate every single note and have them be synchronized in both hands. So what we really need to do is to group the notes. Because if you could put uh, a button in the brain that said, okay, if I push this button, I play three notes. I play ba -da -da. That's what happens when I push this button. And it, then the brain can go in and say, okay, I can push that button and I can do it. Da -da 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 -da. So now it can go so now it can process triplets. That's why we learn sequences. That's that's why we learn patterns like right or because the whole this this whole thing is one group is one piece of information in the brain. It's a spasm, right? Sorry, just hold my pick properly. Or this is one piece of information. Or this, right? And and the way to get to that is to practice with accents. And in reality, it doesn't really matter if you can hear the accents or not, because what's important is that you teach the brain that I'm going ba da da ba da da. And how do you do that if you practice over and over again in a loop? Well, what you do is you put an emphasis to the first note. You think in the right. You tap your foot. Da, 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 da. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right. That's the most basic exercise of alternate picking, by the way, that you put an accent to da 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 da. So that's the whole task. And what most people don't realize is that what's holding them back is not the ability to pick up and down or to fret the notes fast enough. When they get to their limit, they think that oh, I can't move my fingers that fast. No, you can't. Your brain can't process the information that fast. So it doesn't know what to do. And the synchronization is out the window. And that's what feels like I can't do it any faster. Yes, you could if you were, you know, had built that programmed pattern in the brain of firing off three notes at one time by pushing a button. Right. So that's what you need to do. If you practice alternate picking without using accents and you know exactly what note or what notes in the link. If you're practicing six notes on one string, on two strings, which is also a very fine alternate picking exercise involving a string shift, then you go got two accents when I'm playing relatively slow. Down, up, down, up. And that note is a little bit higher or more has more volume than the other notes. But it's more important what goes on in my, with my head and with my foot. Right? And then uh, as speed increases, I go from grouping three notes at a time to grouping six notes at a time. So if I'm playing you know, three notes on each string, on two strings, right? Then I go from counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, right? To counting one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, right? 
It's a spasm. That is, a, it's a button. It's a program pattern. And the only way to do this, to make these patterns happen and to go beyond what the brain can process is to use accents. So never, ever, ever practice alternate picking or any other technique for that matter without knowing where the groupings are, where the beginning is, right? So circular patterns should also always have an accent. My name is Klaus Levine, forgot to say that. And you can download a free course on alternate picking by clicking the link below the video in the description. And you can also subscribe to this channel if you want, want more videos like this. And hit the bell icon. Yeah, so that's, all, that's about it. I hope to see you in the next video.